In this video I'm going to show you how I made this 3D claim painting that looks like a sculpture hanging on the wall. I wanted to create a work of art for my living room using only clay as a base since it's a very inexpensive material to create some type of sculpture that can be hung on the wall. I saw these inspiring images on Pinterest and immediately chose it as an idea to create the painting that I'm going to show you in this video. The idea is to create 15 by 15 centimeters rectangles of clay with a thickness of a few millimeters enough so that they don't break. So I stretch the clay to make it as elastic as possible and I use a piece of plastic to stretch the dough. Once the dough is stretched evenly all over, I carefully use the cutter to cut it. This part is actually very satisfying. If you notice any empty spots or bubble in the dough, just add a bit more of clay to fill them and stretch the dough again. I use my fingers to gently smooth the edges making sure any imperfections are not visible, although it doesn't have to be perfect. Now with the cutter I gently raise it little by little from the work surface. Instead of using your fingers like tweezers, gently peel off the piece using the palm of your hand to avoid any deformation. In the spot where our piece used to be, now we will place a sponge right in the center. This sponge will act as a base for our piece, forming a square shape with uneven edges. I use my fingers to create the desired imperfection edges. Now you need to let each piece to dry individually. In my case, I've made 16 pieces and allowed each of them to dry. I'm going to be using a 60 by 60 cm canvas. These plugs must be placed on the back to be able to stretch the canvas as much as possible. The next step will be to prepare the paints and the necessary tools to start painting. I will mix my acrylic paints, incorporating yellow, red, white and black to achieve the creamy beige shade I'm aiming for. Now it's time to take our time and paint each of the pieces one by one, starting with the outside of the piece and then moving to the inside. I left them in a ventilated place to dry for at least 24 hours. In the meantime, we started painting our canvas using the same colors with the leftover paint from painting the pieces. At this point I have to admit that I didn't have much paint left over, so if you plan to do the same, ensure that the paint mixture you have is sufficient for both the pieces and the entire canvas and avoid ending up like me with only a small amount of paint left. When all the pieces on the canvas have dried, we can proceed to the last part of this project. This involves attaching the pieces to the canvas using a silicone gun. Be careful to measure beforehand so each piece is parallel to the other. This will make sure that the pieces are perfectly aligned to the grid when you glue them. After gluing all our pieces together, we can let our work of art dry horizontally to prevent any movement of the pieces. And here we have the final result. A uniquely crafted piece of art with a 3D effect that adds a special touch to my living room. I believe it's original, lending the space a distinctive personality and touch of elegance as well. I really hope you like it and I will see you next time. Bye bye!